What's going on guys? Welcome back to the shop. Last video we got our headers back in the car. Got the driver's side put back in, passenger side, got the top of that welded up. Got the crossover pipe going from the driver's side to the passenger side. Got that cut, mocked up, in place. It's where it needs to be. And where I left off was, you can see here, right next to the alternator, we have the flange for our turbo. And that is not going to work. That location is way too close to the alternator. And if for any reason we were able to get the turbo bolted up, I would have exhaust going right through the valve cover. So we knew that was just going to happen. I did need it. We were just getting the uh, header cut, getting it mocked up, making sure we could get that to fit. Kind of reuse what I had on the smaller engine. I was hoping that I wouldn't have to do too much modification and the turbo would be somewhere in the same location, but we all knew better than that. <laughs> so what I'm going to do is I'm going to where my, let's see, get you up here. You can see the scavenger pump right here. I'm going to go ahead and get that out of the car. I'm going to get the header back out of the car as well. We're going to get the, uh, the flange or the front cut off that header. We're going to leave the two pipes that I had mocked up in place because that's where I want them. We're going to get the flange cut off, the two and the one there, the collector. And we're going to move that forward to basically about where the scavenger pump is located on the apron. And um, go from there. See if I got room to fit. I'm going to try to run the exhaust, get the uh, housing turned where the exhaust will come out the apron right here. I got plenty of room under the fender to run the exhaust out that way. Now I can either come back in the back side of the apron and then run it out the back of the car or just shoot it off the side of the fender. We'll see when I get to that point, most likely I'm just gonna shoot off the side of the fender, but I do have the option to run it underneath the car if I want to, but we'll save that for later right now. Go ahead and get the valve cover off, get the alternator out, get the engine jack back up so I can get the uh, header off, get that front cut off, and then uh, start figuring out what else I have to cut to get the turbo moved. All right, we got the header out of the car, as you've seen. Uh, I also got ahead and uh, went ahead and cut out a little tab out of some stainless steel sheet metal that I had. Let me show you here real quick. Cut out the little piece there, went ahead and welded it in between this pipe and this pipe here to kind of keep this where I want it. This is where the crossover pipe comes from the driver's side over to the passenger side. So that's where I want that one to fit. I am going to actually get this front section cut off. We're going to cut it off here where it's been cut already once before. And I'm going to cut it here at the weld also to kind of keep them. The kickout's almost the same where those are at right there. So I'm going to get that cut off the header. And then we'll go ahead and get the headers installed back in the car. We'll get the this one back in. We'll get the driver's side back in. Definitely get the crossover pipe back in because things do tend to move around with the TIG welder. But, um, so that's what we're going to do. We'll get that cut off, get it back in the car, and then start taking some measurements and uh, figuring out what else I want to cut. All right, got the headers back in the car, got our crossover tube back in, so everything's mounted up solid. 
So hopefully it doesn't move around. Uh, you can see there we got the scavenger pump removed from the apron over there. And uh, kind of got a rough outline there. Took a couple little measurements. We're going to go ahead and cut that section out of the apron. That way we can start finishing uh, or at least mock this thing up in there. Figure out a good placement for it. I think it's going to work out really well, yeah, <laughs> really well right there. It's definitely going to get the turbo away from the alternator and a bunch of other wiring as well, which is a good thing because I burned up two or three alternators the last setup I had in the car. But um, right now I'll get the camera set up. Go ahead and get that section cut out of the apron. And then uh, see what I can come up with to kind of hold that turbo flange in place and start uh, mocking up some tubing. I'm probably going to need some more. I did order some more, but I, I think I have at least enough metal here where I can get started, kind of make a little jig or whatever. But uh, yeah, I'm going to get myself set up. We'll cut that out and then uh, start mocking up the header. There she is. Got our mock-up housing in place. Seen the little bracket we built to kind of support the housing off the uh, existing fender bolt. Got the hole cut in the apron. I have my uh, mock-up housing. That's actually the new exhaust housing I'm going to use on the turbo, which is a little bit bigger than the old one. Kind of free up some back pressure. So I've been using that to kind of mock it up. Let me get, uh, give you a close-up here real quick. So you can see we got the cut out there. Now I know I got some hoses and stuff, and that's a little... Uh, bumper support I'm pretty sure it'll clear if not I mean I'll either cut this off too and kind of orientate it a little bit differently to kind of clear our wastegate and you can see I'm gonna have to trim up just a little bit more here to give myself a little bit of airspace on that bottom and the exhaust isn't too far off from each other we'll have to relocate some of that wiring there but Looks like it'd be a fairly simple job to get that to uh, connect. You see I hold sawed the hole in the apron as well for the exhaust to come out. But before I, get, <laughs> before I get too carried away with it though, I'm going to install the radiator. And we'll install the alternator as well. Because those are the two biggest clearancing issues I had. And we will install the turbo assembly itself with the compressor housing, the older um, exhaust housing that's on it. We'll get that set up in place, see what kind of room I have to work with. I don't want to get too out of control right now before I start fitting anything else a little bit. But right now I'll get myself set up. We'll get the radiator alternator in and then uh, see what kind of room I have to work with. All right, we got everything in. Got the radiator in, got the alternator in, got the uh, turbo assembly in. And I'll show you how to show you the kind of clearances we got to work with right now. So you can see the compressor housing. It's a little just close to the radiator. And if I was to continue to rotate where I want it, because I kind of want the outlet to be up in this area, pretty, pretty similar to where it was before on the other setup, that way I can just build another cold side and go down to the inner core, which would be over here. The other than that, fits pretty decent, but we're gonna go ahead and take care of that issue. You see my alternator is in. Now, I, it's got plenty of room to tighten a belt, but it'd be really, really close to the intake on the turbo, so, what I'm going to do is, and I still have some room down here, the flange up against the apron and everything. And you can see my touching right here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to make a line. And we're going to relieve this a little bit so this can slide back. And I'm going to open the exhaust exit just a little bit more. 
and get the housing to move about three quarters of an inch get a little bit more room going this way so it's really really close to the apron which should give me the room that I'm looking for and then uh, once I get the housing or the turbo assembly set where I want it then I'll go ahead and start mocking up the exhaust to the flange and uh, continue building our turbo setup but right now I'll go ahead and get the radiator and all that stuff back out of the car uh, make my marks get the turbo housing or the turbo assembly off as well relieve the apron just a little bit more so I can get the turbo to slide over and then we'll go ahead and retest fit everything and uh, see what we got <laughs> All right, got everything back in the car. Got the turbo back in, radiator, alternator. You guys have probably seen it half a dozen times already, but that's what I got. That's what you gotta do when you test fit everything. But uh, I'm gonna go ahead and uh, give you guys a close up of what it looks like right now. As you can see, our little relief down there for the wastegate. Wastegate fits in there pretty good. I will cut that here shortly and orient and turn it just a little bit to get it facing out the fender a little bit more uh, you knew, saw previously too the compressor housing was hitting the radiator fan shroud you can actually turn the housing all the way around now now it's not exactly where I wanted it but it's close enough for me to work with the biggest hurdle is just getting the exhaust ran to the flange now now that we got the turbo sitting up there in the corner so i'll go ahead and pull the turbo back out we'll get the radiator back out alternator clean up all that room for me and then i'll start cutting up some uh two and a half inch stainless and uh, see if we can't get the get started on merging the collector to the header uh, like i said i did order some new uh, some more stainless and i did order some v-band clamps i want to put some v-band clamps right there to kind of help with the taking it uh, in and out whenever I need to, to something, you know, I need to service something or it breaks. So, but anyways, I'll get this stuff back out and then we'll uh, start cutting up some stainless and see if we can't get these two to merge together. See, I started making some pie cuts, started test fitting the uh, the turns and everything, going to the headers. See if I can get you guys a closer look right now. As you can see, got both turns there. I got this one. The other one's not welded. It's just taped. Uh, this straight piece of pipe's going to come out. The only reason it's in there is to help make sure I got it lined up from the header to the turn into the flange itself. I will be removing that piece of straight pipe. Uh, I've decided to solid mount the turbo to the apron and the frame rail. So that straight piece of pipe is going to come out. I ordered some flex joints to go in there with some V-bands. That way I can just take that assembly out. I was looking at it and it looked like there would be way too much weight hanging off the front of that to make it solid. So just to kind of help support everything, I'm going to go ahead and uh, solid mount the turbo to the to the apron and the, the frame rail and put some flex joints in there. I'm upgrading my engine mounts as well because I found a tear in the, and they're just stock rubber mounts that's on this right now. So I ordered, I ordered some higher performance of the neoprene ones, or not neoprene, the polyurethane. Ordered some of those with a little lock on it, like a clamshell style. So if the rubber breaks, it doesn't, the engine won't twist up on me. 
So I ordered those. We're going to put those in. And uh, yeah, so I'm waiting on those. Once we get that stuff, I'll go ahead and continue working on the, the header setup. But um, right now, I'm going to end the video here. I got some cleanup to do. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. Uh, we're getting closer and closer every day to our 500 subscriber giveaway. Can't wait to hit that. Can't wait to give those stands away. Move on to another giveaway. And uh, I greatly appreciate all the comments, the likes. If you guys are new, please subscribe to the channel for me. I uh, greatly appreciate it. It's been a lot of fun. And uh, this car has brought nothing but... It's made me think more and more and more about what I'm going to do. And uh, yeah, I definitely hope it like sparks ideas for you guys as well. I know everything I might do on this car doesn't necessarily pertain to what it is that you're doing, but you may it may give you an idea on something that you're doing or get or get started on something or whatever. That's just what this is all about. But uh, anyways, thank you guys for hanging out. If you're new, please subscribe to the channel. Hit that like button for me. Share with your friends. Definitely leave a comment. I appreciate those. It's awesome. And uh, yeah, catch you guys on the next one.